I've done videos on large language models like GPT-4 and LAMA2, like how to train them, fine-tune them, improve the outputs through the parameters or prompting, and more. But one thing I've only quickly gone over is how they can actually impact our world. And I think it's also important to showcase what we can actually do with a large language model like this. Here are five very cool applications entirely built around large language models like GPT, which you can already do by yourself without any knowledge of code, and even have it online and monetized super easily thanks to amazing tools like Mind Studio, my partners, for this video. Let's not waste any more time and dive into the coolest things people built using mostly an LLM like OpenAI's GPT-4 model. The first one, and coolest in my opinion, is that you can quite easily create your own documentation chatbot. Using a technique called Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, you can take any source of documentation you have, including books, website sources like Wikipedia, and etc., and save it in a memory. Then, you can simply use a model like GPT-4 with good prompting to only answer questions that appear to be related to your dataset. You can even make it give the sources for its answers if your data is available online. For example, with Towards AI, we just released an AI tutor we've been working on, which you can try with the link below right now if you'd like to see how such an application works by yourself. It can answer most AI questions for the two courses we built on LangChain and LLMs. We built it ourselves and it took months to improve improve and iterate to get what we wanted. But you can replicate this tutor much faster using a tool like MindStudio where everything is already built in and you just need to chain the prompts. So if you are a coder, you can code an application like this yourself or use a quicker tool like LangChain, as we show you how to do in our LangChain course. But even easier is using a no-code tool like MindStudio. With this platform, you can simply upload your data source connected to GPT and query the data. That's it. Here's a super cool example that analyzes free available online data sources on startup companies so you know what to invest in. This person built it straight on the platform and made it available for anyone to use. If you have access to a data source or can manage to scrape online data as they did, you can publish your own data chatbot analyzer right away. Using Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG is my favorite approach to using LLMs as it mitigates lots of hallucination issues as you prompt the model only to answer based on your documentation you control. This is useful in many cases and it's amazing that tools like MindStudio allow you to do it without even having to learn to code. Speaking of data, you can use an LLM as a personal assistant for the topic of your choice. Almost any topic or field you can think of. For example, here a company called Spark Stylist created a fashion assistant with MindStudio using a combination of clever directions and prompting to the bot as well as asking many personal questions to the user that they can then implement into the bot's knowledge. Then you can ask it any question about how you should dress or anything fashion related and it will answer your questions based on your personality, all only using an LLM. Using such personalized data is super important to make your system more intelligent and robust. It's also a good idea to tell it its boundaries, how it should behave and when it should not answer questions if you want a safe and robust assistant. I quickly created one that can replace me in explaining AI terms and topics as a nice and funny teacher. It's even already better than me without any external knowledge added just a base model and a few prompts. I definitely invite you to create your personal assistant for your daily tasks. I honestly use this kind of assistant for many different tasks, like helping me to learn new skills or programming languages. It's super easy to build, just give it a few guidelines and it's already ready to go. It makes a very good assistant in like two minutes of work, and then you can further improve it in many ways and make it more and more personal. You can replicate pretty much any personality or source of knowledge if you have it. For example, you can give a language model all of Plato's books and have a personal Plato. This might not be super useful in the real world, but making your model act a specific way can be quite powerful for a brand. For example, a company used MindStudio to build a chatbot that can build a business strategy using art of war tactics specifically, all based on the book. So yes, you can upload complete text and not just summarize with a maximum number of tokens. Then, you can use their system to apply its learning and business advice directly inspired from the Art of War book. 
This is just one real world example of many, but you could give any book or podcast and video transcript to a language model and make it act and answer following those personalities or amazing sources of knowledge. For instance, one of my friends is currently building such a system on all of Andrew Huberman's podcast episodes, which I'm super excited to try. My favorite use of LLMs is for writing and coding. Being a non-native English speaker, ChatGPT is super useful to correct your grammar and help improve some parts of your writing or at least brainstorm with it. It's like always having a friend with infinite IDs. Even if those IDs are often pretty bad, some of them are amazing and easily adaptable. Now that I think of it, it's like having a super creative friend or one under some substances that can spam you with somewhat related ideas about what you want to write. So 1 out of 10 surely lands. Likewise, LLMs to code is simply incredible. It can generate you super useful functions or code in a fraction of a second instead of having to write it yourself or Google for a similar approach and adapt it. The only thing is that it requires some work detailing what you need, but it's definitely worth it. If you are coding without any AI help, as I have done until 2 months ago, I urge you to give it a try and stick with it for at least a week. You'll get addicted, I promise. Personally, I do this using the ChatGPT interface with GPT-4, which has much better results than GPT-3.5. But another great way to prompt it correctly is to use a system someone else worked to optimize through a platform like MindStudio. LLMs can also be used to build a team of programmers or a business from scratch such as MetaGPT which allows you to chain language models we call agents to replicate industry roles and create code-based apps like video games and more. Similarly, BabyAGI and AutoGPT can manage tasks with diverse complexities. MetaGPT stands out by integrating Human Standardized Operation Procedures or SOPs to navigate the common problem of hallucinations where the AI outputs nonsensical or inaccurate information. The MetaGPT approach employs multiple agents, each assigned with a specialized task and guided by SOPs to ensure accuracy and consistency. The strategic approach mirrors a team of professionals working in unison, each expertly navigating their designated roles to create a well-rounded and refined final product. User-defined objectives and constraints further hone the process, ensuring that the AI's output aligns closely with human expectations and standards. In this innovative framework, each AI agent contributes to a harmonious workflow, their interactions and outcomes meticulously documented to enhance consistency and mitigate errors. The result is a streamlined efficient process that transforms a user's initial prompt into a polished completed project, be it a sophisticated video game or a comprehensive business model. This is a super advanced use of LLMs that is quite new and in a huge explosion with tons of new approaches in the making. By the way, you can already try and use all of them with an OpenAI key or open source model like Llama2 to use as your language model for the agents. You just need to ask it what you want and the agents will do it for you. In short, we saw that the language models can do a wide variety of tasks, not only are they interesting to understand, but they are also super cool to use and it's very fun to getting to learn to control them better. It's definitely an art to master them, and it requires practice. Still, they are not generalists, and even if ChatGPT itself is super powerful, those models are much safer to use when you control its environment and all cases possible. So for now, until the models become really intelligent, the more specific your application is, the safer it is for you to host and share with others, and the more powerful it can be. I'd love to know if you have any other applications built using LLMs that I didn't cover here. Thank you for watching the whole video. And I will see you next time with more AI news and approaches.